What's up Gunplum Modelers? This is Strider Prime bringing you a new edition of Gundam Customs. And today I am going to build this kit. The 1 100 scale Master Grade GN003 Gundam Kyrios Celestial Beans Mobile Suit from the Mobile Suit Gundam Double O Gundam or Gundam Double O animated series. Picked this up from Gundam Planet last month, or actually, we're still in July, so I believe it was this month. And uh, I have to say, I wasn't actually thinking of building this kit yet. I was actually thinking of building a high grade after my recent build. But after seeing so many well documented and detailed photographs of this kit, I, I kind of said to myself, you know what? It'll be an, it'll be an injustice not to work on it now. It, this is a beautiful looking kit, um, and I was surprised at how much detail it is. I've had a bad experience with the last Curious that I built, and that was basically the high grade. Not that it was a bad experience; it was just annoying as hell to keep it standing up. Uh, clearly, it was a parts forming mobile suit that you can transform it into the fire mode or flight mode, but it was not, it, for whatever reason, I, I didn't like the high-grade, and I think uh, I built I built the Arios, which is the high-grade Trans Am version a while back. I have it in storage someplace. Um, and I've seen the Curios um, 1100 scale no-grade version, which Bandai released all four of them, including, you know, um, the, the Virtua back there with, that can be turned into the Natalie. But um, when when the Dynamis, you know, was announced and released, I was an extremely, extremely impressed with its um, engineering and its overall design. I was very, very pleased with the with the build. So much so that just thinking about the curious and saying it should be almost equal to that. Um, granted, it's not going to be a part of forming mobile, so this will be transformed, but. I'm not going to keep this mobile suit transformed uh, at all. I'm going to build it, and it's going to be in robot mode. And uh, I'll do the transformation once. You know, it's not like it's not like you do, you see that many um, mechs out there that you definitely like it in its transformation mode, but not in its robot mode, unless you're a Macross fan. But uh, for this, it's it, you know, it has to be a robot mode. So, like I said, I picked this up from Gundam Planet. Um, uh, I'm going to provide a link to anybody who's interested in purchasing it. And if you click on the link down below, you'll get 10% off your purchase from Gundam Planet. They do offer uh, curbside um, pickup if you're here in New Jersey, you know. And uh, I can't wait to build it and put it right, ne right next to my Dynamis build that I did last year. And... For those of you who don't know, I uh, found my my Axia. This was never painted; it was just the standard build. Uh, this was the um, the um, special edition version, which of course you turned it into the repair type. I found it, and I am really, really interested in taking the whole thing apart and painting it, just so we can keep it all uh, in line. Um, I am not going to transam it because I don't think I have enough paint. As a matter of fact, I do have enough paint, but this is not the kit for transam. I have another kit that I'm going to probably do, but that will be for the future. So let's put you to the side. Put you to the side. And uh, let's open this up. Shall we? Give me a second here because... Oh, there's my knife. Oh. For those of you who can't get it, it uh, I believe, you know, Gundam Planet, other stores like uh, Barnes & Noble. Hobby Lobby starts to, starting to sell Gundam, but I haven't seen the any Gundam kits being sold at the Hobby Lobby here in New Jersey, but I know other places they are 
selling it. Let's, uh, first, let's look at this. So we have the flight mode, rear view, of course. Some joint action, so you could pivot. Supposedly, it has the inner, almost a similar inner frame to that of the Dynamis, but with slight variations to, you know, to conform to the flight type and all that stuff. I like to see how they tackle the massive um, knee, uh, the knee fins. Those are going to be uh, the one that's going to annoy, maybe annoy me, but maybe not if they figure it out. Um, the the shield. Actually, let's go into the next side. So you have many things. You have the weaponry. So you have the beam uh, submachine gun, which technically looks like a uh, looks more like a shotgun than a submachine gun. Uh, you have the GN cable. Resin parts applied with a holographic finish has been used for the GN cables throughout this MS cable. So that's referred as cables. I didn't know that. Then we have the GN shield, which has that opening and closing um, spike thing. And even though it was only used once, it has the two um, it has the two GN hand missile units featured in, in this as well. So at least you got that. You don't have to purchase something extra. Um, but I can imagine there's some company out there that's probably thinking of building that, that flight, that uh, missile pod pack that, that's attached to the back of the, of the, Curio, of the um, Curios um, during, um, I guess, I think one episode I've forgotten. Or I'm confusing with the Arios. Don't know yet. GN Drive is a, a loud, uh, you know, you get the LED light set and all that fun stuff, of course. You need the green LED unit, which is sold separately. All right, let's open this up. Actually, I'm going to position the camera, so give me a minute. All right, let's see this here. We have some clear parts here on this plate. Yellow. Some uh, green, clear green, and red. And right now, these are the only red parts that I see here. This has to be the waste unit. Yeah, it is. Plus the face. So there are three red part, red parts here. Okay. And then we have this yellow part. Um. We have the gray parts. Followed by the this uh, unique uh, part that goes on the on the kit, the arms, legs, I believe the head. I don't think I even remember I put this on the Dynamis. Oh yeah, I did. I remember. No, I do because I remember the thigh armor has that. Uh, parts forming hands. So that's good. Some stickers for the eyes and reflectiveness thing. So we have the white parts, but in the light, it feels like I'm looking at uh, an off-white color, but yeah, what it is. And obviously, this is the shoulder parts, and this has to be the light parts here. Some of the inner frame parts is listed right there. Shoulder part as well. That has to be the chest part. Two of the same plate. All right. Uh, can't tell what this is. Could be the one of the weaponry. All right, so here's the plate that has the um, the wing that goes on the knee. Parts of the body, which I don't know yet. And then we have the leg part. So we have the right leg and left leg. This could be the armor for the right and left leg. Okay. Now we have a beautiful, striking orange right there. I forgot to mention the fact that this has orange, and uh, I haven't built any kits with orange in, I think, forever. But then again, I don't remember what was the last kit that I painted orange. Hmm. 
and I'll have to review all my stuff. And then we have more inner frame parts. Now that's charcoal, but this one is a darker tone color. Very darker tone. Some weaponry here, the uh, missile pod, and then of course the machine, the um, submachine gun. There's the other part of the white. Now we have the orange part here, more of the weaponry, and more of the inner frame. Here's the legs. Here are the leg parts. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. And of course, let's get the manual out of here because we're definitely going to review this. Alright, so let me put this back and we'll review the manual and see what we have to work with here. Alright. The Curios. Alleluia Hatton. Or Hallelujah. Everyone. Yeah, this looks good line artwork there, history. Instructions on how to put on the decals or um all that fun stuff, how to put the thing together. Hmm, head unit, chest unit, right arm, left arm. Oh, there you go. G and hand missile units, some machine gun. Okay, so I am noticing gray plate has five parts not to be used. C plate has about over ten parts not to be used times two. The white parts, oh wow, those plate. The, so I know what these are. Those are the white um, parts on the leg. So I'm going to use XE as an example. Um, here, this little part right here, I believe it's this part. I believe so. Yeah, it is that one. Put you there. That's, that's part of that. And that's probably part of the back part as well. Interesting. Alright. So, quite a number of parts are not to be used here on this page. On this page, uh,. These are all unique, so it's required. No, um, no polycaps. No polycaps. So friction, you could say. So, all right, the assembly of the GN drive. Cool. And then the body. And the assembly of the torso. And then the back part of the of the torso, which is required to form the the front part of the of the of the air of the flight path, you know flight mode type thing. Then we have the head unit, and then on this page we have the assembly of the shoulders, and then the arms. I don't think that's going to be complicated with the arms because the arms will probably be bent and turned but not significant transformation. And we got the waist unit right here. But all the transformation is probably going to be on the torso and then the legs and then the arms folded in specific areas. So here's what the, you know, what the mobile suit looks like in action. And here it is with the weaponry. The shield. Then we have the leg unit assembly. Alright. 
right, and put it all together. And then the assembly of the weaponry. It's the beam, uh, GN beam machine gun, and then you have the unique grips, which I believe is un is not specific. Because the grip, the gun will go on the grip, but, and then the gun, and then that same grip can be used for the uh, missile packs. And then you have the unique shield. Is it just the GN shield? Yeah, it's GN shield. So you have the GN grips, the GN beams, uh, beam submachine gun, the GN hand missile unit, and then the GN shield. And then you have this amazing pose of what this kit looks like. And then over here in the transformation, well, it goes through its motions. The back part goes up front. Certain things need to be bent and turned. And then the legs turned in a specific angle, in various angle. Then where to put the weaponry on it, where you put the shield on it, and then the connection for the for the uh, base. And according to what my what Prime told me, um, you can flip the certain areas of the kit to make it, you know, like landing skirt, uh, landing struts, or something like that. And then you have the placement of the decals. All the decals are right here. It's very nice. Very nice. And this is what it looks like, both front and back. This is going to be a nice little brilliant mobile suit because of the, all the colors that it has here. Speaking of colors, let's talk about. 